I like music, but not this much. Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to The Right Opinion, the home of a twat with too much free time. And Drake, when will you stop? Drake has developed this identity so prolific that people just accept that you can't stop him and just play his music anyway. And it's not like this has happened overnight with stars like Britney Spears and the Pussycat Dolls. He's been making popular music for a while now. He's had hits here and there. It all started around eight years ago with this song, Best I Ever Had, which I unironically enjoy. At his best, Drake can pull off some very sincere emotions. In Best I Ever Had, it sounds like she is actually the best. And it sounds like he is indoctrinated by her. And this seemed to be the case for a few years. Bar started from the bottom, which is a joke to this day. He started from the bottom, now he's here. I did not need a whole fucking song about that. Songs like Take Care, Find Your Love and Hold On, We're Going Home had a tendency to translate genuine emotions that made me involved in the song. And now I'm going to go into an unpopular opinion, probably, but an opinion nonetheless. I liked Hotline Bling, admittedly it was a grower, but there was something that I enjoyed about it, and a lot of the criticism stemmed from the fact that the song made Drake look like a possessive prick. And yeah, it does, but in response to that, music isn't always about positive role models. If they're sincere in that song, I think it can work, and Drake was very sincere. He was sincere about being a prick, but still sincere. But since then, it has gone too far. Drake has to be stopped. It feels like he's progressively going into a coma in every song. He sounds more and more dead. Soon he'll just be releasing songs of him on the fucking toilet and they'll still probably go to number one. Drake's one dance almost beat the record for the longest time spent at number one in the UK. It was so fucking boring. So fucking boring. And it sounded like it was produced by a fucking preschooler with the clunky piano and the beat just, just so uninteresting. It sounded like an amateur song. He's so lazy as well, he hasn't released a proper video since Hotline Bling, and in my thoughts, he hasn't released a proper song either, apart from, like, maybe Too Good, which probably does class as one, but just. And now he's released Fake Love, which rips off the beat from Hotline Bling, and only embellishes on his lazy mentality. Let's have a listen now. <laughs> I feel like Drake has created this lazy persona and it's his gimmick now, but how much lazier can you become before you stop making real music? Maybe he'll become too lazy to make music and just release blank discs, but then, again, as he said on Best I Ever Had, but so big, I could probably sell a blank disc. Also, he's been collaborating with Future, who has already proven that despite the fact that he's been around forever with his auto-tuned inebriation, people rip off his style and seem to do better. Panda, 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 panda. I'm never saying that again. When an artist releases this much and this regularly, they're gonna surely burn out and Fake Love just seems to signal the beginning of that burning because he just sounds absolutely morbid. Once again, we haven't seen him since Hotline Bling. Maybe he actually died and the label just want to milk him for what it's worth, like some Michael Jackson shit. If you want my prediction, which you probably don't, Fake Love will be the final hit for a while in Drake's discography, apart from features, of course, like fucking Rihanna's work where he gawks at her shaking her ass the whole time. I think he will return in the future, but for now, I think this may well be the end of Drake. If you want my opinion on music in 2016, it has been an absolutely awful year. Absolutely terrible. Just the worst music isn't necessarily worse, but there's been really small amounts of good music, and that's a real shame because 2016 hasn't been the best year around. Trash. <laughs> Woo! The right opinion. 2016 was trash. 2017 is going to be James's year. It is true. I, I agree. I agree with that one. Are you gonna- Woo!